Hello, my name is Irene Gabriel. I'm a professor of medicine at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School. I'm here to talk about why we want immunotherapy or we want to test T-cell therapy in smoldering myeloma. We know that high-risk smoldering myeloma has the chance of going on to end organ damage, 50% chance in two years. Meaning if I see a patient today, they have 50% chance of having fractures in their bones or kidney failure within the next two years. And we know that biologically those cancer cells look exactly the same like myeloma. The only difference is that we've achieved fractures and, and organ damage. And the hope is that we stop being reactive and wait for things to happen. This is not a precancerous condition. This is a malignant condition, just like stage one or stage two breast cancer that has just not caused uh, symptomatic disease or metastasis. So the hope is that we can be proactive for our patients and prevent end organ damage. And the biggest question we have now is, should we use traditional chemotherapy like KRD, their RVD, which we're testing them on, versus should we try to use immunotherapy earlier? And I would argue that T-cell therapy is best used as early as possible for several reasons. The first one is your T-cells are much more functional and much more active at an earlier disease setting. We know that from the lab work that we do in our lab, as well as many other labs, when you look at the T-cells, they are much better earlier in smoldering myeloma, and they get worse and worse as you go on from one line of therapy to the other to the other. So if you want to use immunotherapy that uses your T-cells and engages them, you want to use your best T-cells cells, not your worst T cells later on. The second part is that the cancer cells, the tumor burden, is less in smoldering myeloma compared to active disease. So by definition, the T cells will have a much higher success to kill all of those cells, to achieve deep remission compared to when you have so many clones, so much disease burden that the T cells may be overwhelmed. So by doing that, we know that potentially the response rate will be much higher if you use immunotherapy earlier. The other thing that we're doing is we're using less immunotherapy in those patients, so a limited time of therapy, two years or less, once a month treatment, so that we have less toxicity. And indeed, when the immune system is better, you have less infections and less cytokine release syndrome because you have less cancer cells and no or less ICANs. So this all together tells us that potentially using your bispecific antibodies or your CAR T therapy as early as possible would make sense. Now, we actually tested this hypothesis. We opened for the first time two clinical trials in high-risk smoldering myeloma using only immunotherapy. So no chemotherapy upfront, no induction, just a bispecific antibody like teclistamab in comparison to lenalidomide and dexamethasone or CAR T therapy without any bridging therapy, without any induction to try and ask the question, would immunotherapy be the best as early as possible? And for now, our answer is yes. It's still very preliminary but we can tell you that we presented the data in the American Society of Hematology meeting showing that indeed 100% of the patients had a deep remission called minimal residual disease, 10 to the 6. And we have not seen that in any other study before. Again, very early data, but extremely promising to indicate that indeed your T cells, when they're best early on, when you have less tumor burden, you may indeed achieve deep remission. And the hope is that this will be a very long remission for years and years to come to prevent end organ damage, but potentially to show us that indeed those patients may have a long remission without evidence of myeloma. The other thing we saw is we have less infections. Most of our infections are minimal sinusitis and other things and are not the severe opportunistic infections you see in the relapsed refractory myeloma setting. And indeed that has helps us understand that less toxicity, less CRS, less infections, but higher and deeper remission can potentially be so good for our patients in the earlier setting. We're hoping that this translates to potentially a cure for myeloma and potentially really asking our patients, do we want to be proactive? Do we want to make a difference in their life before they have fractures and kidney failure and hopefully a longer survival for them?